Hello! Welcome to the intro video for my channel. So, I'm not gonna lie, this is an old channel that I sort of abandoned almost a year ago. I've decided to come back after a small rebranding. I'll be shifting my focus more towards books with the occasional manga and anime review. The reason being is that, I'm gonna be honest, it takes way longer for me to read manga than it does a book, which I'm not sure how that makes sense. Don't ask me, I don't know. So, you can kind of expect a book review once a week, while manga and or anime will be more of a every three months kind of thing. It just takes more time for me to find uh, references and such to put into a video. And I will admit I am still learning these things, so having a very tight schedule is kind of overwhelming. But at least with a book review, I can get those out a little bit more consistently, I believe. My goal is to have a book review once a week. And you might ask, what kind of books? Well, I'm not going to stray far from my original idea. So, mainly romances with a focus of MLM. No, not multi-level marketing. Men loving men. Uh, and also the occasional pansexual slash bisexual romances. So more likely things with like a throuple setting or i don't know maybe it's just something lgbt related that i find interesting and these can range anything from fantasy based romances to historical to honestly sci-fi i guess though i've never really read sci-fi romance I'm not sure if those are really a thing anyway like before i'll be posting their scores and then i'll be averaging those totals to give it a grand total at the end the total will be put on the sort of uh, scoreboard for the end of the year never mind the fact that we aren't even going to be starting in january we'll overlook that this year and that way we can kind of see maybe where we're leaning towards when it comes to enjoying books and at the end you know we'll put up in a big old board of what was maybe our least enjoyed books to most enjoyed. So back to the topic of scoring. Here's how I'm going to be sort of dividing it up. Please understand that my scoring is going to be kind of loose and all over the place. That's just how I am as a person. Don't take that out of context. Anyway, general enjoyment, pretty simple. Was it fun to read? Did it suddenly grind to a halt and I had to just force myself to finish what was some notable things these could be good notable things or these could be bad notable things also please note if you have any hear meow or sudden wrestling it's probably my cats don't be shocked if you see a little uh emoji or a snippet here or there that pop up on the screen to show you when they felt the need to interject into a recording plot was the plot outlandish? Was it grounded? Or was it a little crazy? An outlandish plot can still be good if the writing's good. But if they're both bad, it's not usually a good time for anyone. Pairing. Since I'll be focusing mostly on ram romance, this makes sense to me. Did the couple make sense? Did it seem forced? Pretty common sense things. Note this does not mean where the couple's healthy. Were they a good example of a couple? I don't score for that. You could have the most toxic couple be shown in the book, but the writing's good. I will still give it a 5 out of 5 compared to a healthy couple that was written boringly and just... I didn't enjoy the pairing, you know? Spice, this is actually a bonus score, so not every book will get scored on this. How well written were the, uh intimate scenes since i do focus mostly on romance and sometimes that is applied to said genre i felt like this made sense to score i know some people who entirely skip over these scenes they're not always written the same if you catch my meaning now to make up for books that either do not have these scenes or are for younger audiences that i might occasionally read we have a coziness score. How cozy was I feeling when I read this? Was the romance sappy, but good? Now I understand that some spicier books can also have cozy scenes, but you'll either get one or the other score, never both. And that's just because I didn't want books that lacked those scenes to suddenly have lower scores. And that's kind of the general gist of it. Everything will be from one to five. 1 being the worst, 5 being great. 
and then I'll take an average of each score. I'll kind of be our, you know, general total. I will also be giving snippets from the author, whether or not I've covered them before, so there might be a timestamp to skip over if it's an author we've looked at. Now, something else I kind of want to show. I won't be just standing here on this cozy little room. Instead, we'll be here. And now I know you're thinking, what on earth is behind me? Well, I figured if I'm going to be just here talking and there's not going to be a lot to add to the screen other than the occasional snippet from whatever book we're reviewing, I'll throw up some gameplay of something I've played recently. And yes, it is on my all my own gameplay. I sadly have to own up to some of my poor playing skills here. And sometimes they'll be from a Twitch stream I ran, as I do sometimes stream on Twitch. I'll be it not often, and I don't know if I'll ever actually make a schedule for it. Though I might also do the occasional reading sprints here and there, or even writing, as I do write. And, you know, that way you have something to look at if you're just watching the screen, say, on a lunch break, or whatnot. But you also probably won't miss anything if you turn off your screen or can't look at it. And, well, that's honestly it. I will be popped up here to give you a general overview of the story, and then we'll swap screens to get into the nitty gritty of the review. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again. Bye! They stood out to me. Now these could be good notable things. They could be bad no notable things. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat in the background.